these are ancestor objects. This is the key to the desk at which Evans Pritchard sat when he was writing witchcraft, uh, witchcraft oracles and magic. This is the, the, the key to the back door of the Department of Social Anthropology through which many of the great scientists came using that back door there. Um, this was from the museum where they kept the shrunken head of the Javaro Indians. Um, uh, Marilyn Chaffin's notes from the head of the department here. I never throw anything away. This was given to Ronald Dorr, the greatest Western expert on Japan, and he gave it to me. So these are just part of my treasure trove and many others elsewhere. Um, this was the shrunken head that was in in the chest which used to be here and um, so and this hat one of the great formative influences on my life was um, Peter Laslett mm -hmm. who was a political philosopher and discovered John Locke's library and he wrote a great introduction to Locke's work but later he became interested in population and he set up a group called the Cambridge Group for the History of Population and Social Structure and he and Tony Wrigley and Roger Schofield revolutionised English demography and discovered that the English family system goes back much further than we thought. Peter was a dear friend and a fellow of Trinity and one occasion he came to dinner with us and he came in this Chinese hat which he said he had been given when he went to China in the 1960s and treasured. And, um, so he used to wear this and he left it behind and I, I liked it so much that I thought I would keep hold of it. So this is my Peter Lazar Chinese hat. <laughs> it's quite okay. old. Quite old. Yeah. Huh? This is, um, I collected objects from ancestors mm -hmm. and I've got Dirac's radio for instance and uh, other scientific things but these are, this is my anthropology collection or most of it. Um, so this was a um, slide drawer of Edmund Leach, the R. Leach. This was the pipe of Maya Fortis, the only thing that's left of Maya Fortis. Everything else was burnt, destroyed by his widow um, for some reason. But this, and this pipe is broken, as you see, and it, that's because it went back to Ghana. They needed an object which had been in touch with him for an ancestor ritual. So this has been incorporated into a Ghanaian Talensi ancestor ritual and come back here and it's now part of the ancestor shrine here. Um, so this is Clifford Geert's handwriting. The anthropologist reads the texts of his informants over their shoulders, one of Geert's famous remarks, and so that's that. Um, this is Mary Douglas's, the anthropologist's spoon uh, M. N. Srinivas, the great Indian anthropologist's mm -hmm. pipe, um, some J. G. Fraser's of the Golden Bowers notebooks, um, Marilyn Strathern's little bag there, uh, the vice chancellor, who is a biological anthropologist, Alison Richards' spoon from Madagascar. Um, that's Evans Pritchard, mm -hmm. off print. And two of my objects, one is tea, and the other is my system of note-taking for my PhD thesis. One fact, one card. So this is just a little bit of my card indexing system. Mm. So, and that's uh, an arch uh, archaeologist, Colin Renfrew's, and a note from him, just to show we're not just narrowly anthropological. So I thought it was a sort of joke, a nice joke, that... Um, Anthropologists who study ancestors mm -hmm. should have their own ancestor shrine. So there'll be a shrine here, and then in the seminar room, which you will remember from many lectures, but of course now you, you need to... Everything is security conscious, so I can't get in, because I don't know what the combination is. I'm locked out of my own lecture room. But along the wall there next week, we will put the ancestors up, and you can film that. Okay? Oh.